Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can reset your forgotten local Windows 10 password for free. This solution would equally work for Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. There are different possible ways to do this. The approach in this video requires a formatted USB flash stick with no files in it. So if you haven't got one, you can pause the video and try to get one before you continue. Here we'll be using a free piece of software called LaySoft. There are other possible software tools that you can use for this purpose, but I find LaySoft quite convenient and easy to use. It's got great reviews and offers a free home edition for personal use. It's rated at 100% recovery rate, so if you follow the procedures in this video accordingly, you should be able to reset your Windows password quite easily. So first, let's go ahead and download the LaySoft application. For that, you will need to use some other laptop that is accessible. So go to Google and search LaySoft Password Recovery Home Edition. Click on the first link from LaySoft.com. I will also leave a direct download link down in the video description. On this page, click on Free Download Now. Then on the page that follows, click on Download Now and wait for the download to complete. It's fairly light in size, about 35 MB, so it should download pretty quickly. After downloading, simply run by double clicking. Now on the user account control where it says verified publisher, ensure it says Lace Soft Technique LTD before hitting yes to avoid installing some malware to your laptop. Here accept the license terms and hit next. Keep all the options as default and hit next. Next again. Install. And then finish. After a moment, you should have an interface like this pop up. Now insert your USB stick. Then click on Ben Bootable CD slash USB disk now. It will then ask you to select the Windows version of the targeted computer. Here I'm running this tool on a Windows 10 64 bit edition and my target computer is equally Windows 10 64 bit. So I can leave the option as same as this computer. If yours is different, then click on this drop down and select the Windows version of the computer you are trying to unlock the password and then hit next. Here it asks you to select your bootable medium. As you can see, it's also possible to use a CD or DVD to run this tool. But here I will select USB flash. If you have multiple USB devices attached to your laptop, then check that the selected letter corresponds to the letter of the USB you intend to use for this purpose. Then hit start to begin the process. Now if for some reason your USB is not formatted or has some files on it, it will ask your permission to format it. Again, ensure you've backed up all the files on your USB before proceeding with this step. Here I will hit yes. And then it begins to format the USB. And afterwards, it starts to copy the required files to it. Now, this process will take a while depending on your laptop speed. On average, it should take about 3 to 5 minutes to complete. Afterwards, you should have a message saying the recovery disk is now ready. Now, click on finish and then close the tool. Now, if you check your USB from your computer folder, you should have all these files and folders in it. Now eject your USB stick. And then attach it to the computer with the forgotten password. Here we're going to be putting from the USB stick. Now I assume you know the key to press to select the USB as your one-time boot device. If not, you can look that up online. Maybe you need to change some BIOS settings. Anyhow, try to boot up from the USB stick. Now for this Samsung, I will keep tapping the escape key after pressing the power button until I see the screen that asks me to select my one-time boot device. Here I will select my USB stick which is this Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. 
Now, if for some reason your USB doesn't show in the BIOS, then try changing from the current port to another USB port and see if that works. And then on this page, ensure that Lace Soft Live CD is highlighted. Then hit enter. Wait for the files to load. After loading, you should have an interface like this. Here the default option is to reset your Windows password, so leave it at that and hit next. It then reminds you that the home edition is for non-commercial use. Here I'll hit yes. And then it automatically detects the volume with my Windows and also the Windows edition I have. Here again the default option is to reset local password, so I will hit next. It then displays all the accounts on the computer. Here select the account you want to reset the password. Mine is EasyText. So with EasyText selected, I'll hit next. Now here click on this blue area where it says reset slash unlock. And as you can see, it immediately resets my password and pops up this message saying password reset was successful. Now hit OK. And then hit finish to complete the process. To close this tool, click on this start icon by the bottom left corner and then select shut down computer. Hit OK to shut down the system and then remove your USB stick and try to boot up your laptop as usual. As you can see, upon startup, my Windows no longer has a password, so I've successfully reset my Windows password. If you want, you can go back to your user account from Control Panel or Windows Settings and then reassign a new password to your computer. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.